Up a hole to 10. Third for Triplett. He may have to take a drop. That may be his. That may be a heck of a four right there for Kirk Triplett. Beautiful golf swing. Great balance. Steve Flesh. I mean, you just watch him swing the club and Ooh. watch him hit shots like that. And why isn't he winning every other week? And when you watch that, that's that's so pretty. Three dimes in the other pocket, and he only <laughs> used a broken tee on par threes. If he couldn't find one, he broke one. So everybody has their own little quirks and, and what you get used to playing. That was at 15, four runner-up finishes for Green, but uh, it's tough to get across the line on Sunday out here, Lanning. Yeah, he's been fighting that part of it, but nice birdie there at 15, and well, you know, not a lot of movement. It maybe just off the right edge. Ooh, good job there. Nice birdie by Rocco. A couple of birdies here coming back. We're at the 11th here. Justin Leonard just caught the right edge of the fairway. Four locations back far enough here at 11. This shouldn't be a problem, and it's not. Beautiful play there by Justin. Don't want to let this one get away if you're Justin. Nice shot in here. Take advantage. Very nice. Justin's on his way to Royal Montreal next week for the President's Cup. He'd be one of uh, Jim Furyk's lieutenants. Yeah, the DC driving it down the left side of the fairway opens up this front right hole location. He's got it going, oh, perfect spot. Just to the right, should catch a little bit of slope. Well, he catches a lot coming right back down the hill. Beautiful play by Zung Jai. Yeah, now just straight up the hill. Nothing to this. And takes advantage and That'll get him to four under par. He's not giving up that trophy too easily. Let's go to 15. Even par round going for the three-time champion here, Kirk Triplett. One-handed must not be what he wanted. Who needs to kick? Oh, it's good now. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. I only thought it wasn't where I wanted it. Down the hill for the Andrade birdie putt here at 14. That's a good roll there by Billy. Beautiful putt. Rocco likes to bring that ball in from the right here, try to turn it over to that front right hole location. Tracer technology presented by Trackman. Yeah, one thing you can bet on Rocco, it's not going to move left to right. It will move right to left almost every time. And that was right on line. Just needed another half club. Got to put some pace on this to get it there. Be good, be good, be good. Be good. Yeah! Rocco <laughs> from range. Look at all the circles on the scorecard for Mediate. Uh, well done. That should. Oh, I thought it might come back, but he drove it in there nice and tight. And back with you here at the 14th and Justin Leonard to move to minus four. Got to take advantage of that shot in here. And yes, he does. Good birdie there for Justin. Really well played hole. Birdie putt for Steve Flash back here at 16. Oh, good putt there by Fleshy. That's great putt to make there. Not an easy green to make putts on. 15, approach shot of Justin Leonard. Nice tee shot down the left side of the fairway. Sure leaves him a nice look at this front right hole location. And really well done there by Justin. He is hitting some quality iron shots and rolling the ball very nicely. Good chance to go to five under right here. Kind of like that. Beautiful putt. Yeah, good call. It's always so important here at Pebble to get the ball to come off your putter rolling truly. That he will, choosing putter, going up the slope, moving a little bit to his left. Give it a pretty good wrap. Nice line. Oh, yes. VJ. Shades of days of yore. David Duvall ready to fire over at 17. Tracer technology is presented by Trackman. David setting up very nice these days. Good looking swing right there. It was right on track. 
it's a treat every time you're here. Duvall with his eyes on a two here at 17. Can he get it there? Yes, he can, right in the middle, David. Well played hole. Yeah, but it had just enough energy to topple it. Well, Andre had a tough bunker shot, and he's got a chance to stay par here. Yeah, he did. He was short side over in that left bunker, not a good third, and then that is an incredible putt. Reed and putt there for Billy Andre. Up at 18, Flesh will putt this from the top collar here. Good for pace. Oh, what wow, what a four. He's made the hard putts today. That's a great putt there. A bit more about trusting your number here. We'll cut off swing, trying to bring it in low. Got the skip. There you go. Skip and check, as John always says. Yeah, right underneath the hole. He's got about 10 feet short and a good look. Maybe just a right edge putt. Nice job there. That was a really nice roll. That ball hugged the ground beautifully. Great round there by Justin. Good start. Yes, it was. 65 matching Stephen Alker and Paul Gordos for the low round of the day. What a start to the week. To birdie the home hole and sign for 65. And he and his amateur partner, Daniel Ferguson, had a very productive day as well. We had a lot of fun bringing you the coverage here in the opening round of the Pure Insurance Championship.